These are the top reasons why electric unicycles suck and why you need to buy one today. These wheels do not hold their value. With all the competition and the constant wheels that are coming out, whichever wheel you purchase is going to be worth a lot less very quickly. For example, we have two Kingsong 16S's that retail for $1,250. This person selling theirs on Marketplace for $700. One year old, and it's lost 44% of its value. This one right here, number two, uh, same thing, King Song 16S, selling for $800. It has 110 miles on it. Now, <laughs> looking at these numbers, it's actually kind of wild. This wheel has a 40 mile range. That means that this wheel potentially was charged three times, right? Three times and it loses 36% of its value since it was purchased. These wheels really don't hold their value, and that kind of sucks, especially for the amount that you're purchasing them for. Now, I suppose if you end up going used, this could be a very nice win. <laughs> but if you're buying used, that means you're not getting the top of the line wheel because that one did just come out two months ago, and the used one you're buying is probably lacking in a couple different areas. Learning curves for EUCs is a little bit higher for some people compared to a one wheel, compared to a scooter, compared to any other kind of rideable. They take a little bit more finesse and they take a little bit more practice to get down. This is currently my second ever ride on an EUC. I am riding the King Song 16X and I gotta say, this is a great wheel. But that learning curve, it can be kind of off-putting depending on who you are because Unless you get to try a wheel before you buy it, you're kind of signing up for potentially a disastrous move because that new wheel you just purchased, if you go to sell it secondary market, you're not going to get what you paid for it. Definitely not with the taxes included. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a risk when you're purchasing these, unfortunately. The fragility of these wheels is another thing that always kind of makes me a little on edge. Because again, they're quite pricey and they go very fast, which means if you end up pushing it to the limit, which you shouldn't anyway, but if you end up pushing it and you take a tumble, your wheel is going to need some serious fixing and hopefully you have somebody around you that can help out because that could be very pricey. And obviously we can see right here, <laughs> this, this dude's batteries just come out of the case. That's what those blue packs are right there. Yeah, so there is one, the Veteran Sherman, that absolutely looks like a tank. It's got a roll cage on it. Very cool to see that. I really do hope that more EUCs go this route so the uh, fragility becomes less of an issue. Also got to give a huge shout out to Boulder Denim for these jeans. I got to tell you guys, if you're looking for the most capable pair of jeans ever, check them out. Uh, these are like insanely stretchy. Like they are the most comfortable jeans I own by far. And I, I suppose I've owned a lot of jeans. Like, yeah, I've owned a lot of jeans and I blow through a ton of them because I'm constantly doing things in them. These are the first jeans that I feel like I won't shred through in a year and a half, two years. I can't thank Boulder Denim enough for making these jeans and sending them over. All of this pretty much hinges on the fact that it's an expensive device. It's an expensive device and yes, you do get the most out of your money when you compare it to almost any other item. A one wheel, a e-scooter, e-skate. These are the most technical vehicles out there, but their price is high. And unless you're buying used, you're gonna be spending a good amount on them.
So with all of these negatives, why in the heck would anyone buy an EUC? Well, I can tell you why. They are insanely fun. They are by far the most utilitarian vehicle out there. Nothing has the range, nothing has the speed, nothing has, nothing compares to what these wheels can do. Depending on what you buy, you can ride a hundred miles on some wheels. That is insane. Nothing competes with it. It's a lot of fun to be able to keep speed without thinking about eating it. Uh, knowing that you have the capacity in your motor to go up a hill, go up a bank, do trails. Uh, the clearance can be really nice too. There's just a ton of reasons that I feel like these are definitely the future in terms of personal mobility. They have their kinks and they have the things that are negatives with them, but all of that I feel like is outweighed by how awesome of a utility vehicle you get. I am of course still learning. I have under 30 miles on my belt. That's why I kind of feel like I can bring up these negative points because I don't have a ton of money invested into a wheel to justify to you. No, you need one, you don't need one. Like, I personally feel like not having a big stake in an EUC gives me more of a third party vantage point where I can see some of the negatives that maybe somebody who spent $2,000 on a wheel wouldn't want to accept. With all their negatives, electric unicycles are here to stay. And the amount of competition tells me that we're gonna see some amazing things in the next few years. We've already seen the birth of electric unicycle suspension, the V11, the S18, and Gotway X. There is gonna be a massive switch and a massive move over, I feel like, to some EUCs. And personally, I would say buy a used one because they come out so often. There's someone in your city that bought the new one last year, or is it gonna buy the new one this year, and you'll be able to make those savings happen for yourself. You'll be able to save 40, 50% on a wheel, save on the shipping, save on the taxes, because again, you're gonna get a capable vehicle for a lot less. And that's why I feel like it's kinda of nice about these wheels too, because even if you get the last year's model, even if you get one that's not the brand new one, They've come so far with the amount of watt hours and the features that are on them that you're not going to be losing out. It's almost like swapping an iPhone 12 for an iPhone 11. Like, yeah, you get a couple other things. You might get LiDAR and a magnetic back, but they're kind of small when you think about it in the big picture. My name was Nate, is Nate, and will continue to be Nate. And as always... Watch it.